Hi everybody, it's Miss Dara from the Northwest Library and I'm here to share with you my 10 favorite picture books for the month of June. I hope you have had a chance to come into the library, you're enjoying your summer, you're doing summer reading and all the fun things that summer has to offer, but don't forget to do your reading. So of course I have some of my favorite picture books to share with you and I'll ho I hope that you'll come in and share some of your favorites with us as well. So we're gonna start off with Moon Camp by Barry Gott. There's a little boy here, it's summertime, school's finally out, he's ready to play with his friends, but instead his parents send him to Moon Camp. He has to eat weird food and going to the bathroom is really bizarre and he doesn't have any friends, he gets lost on the nature walk um, and, and he's just not having a good time. But eventually he makes a friend and he enjoys moon camp after all. So for anybody going to camp or who just likes outer space, this is a fun one. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is called Sail. It's got really beautiful illustrations. It's by Doreen Browers. Out at sea, anything can happen. When the waves come crashing down, keep swimming. Who knows what you might find? Uh, all you have to do is set sail. <clears throat> Excuse me, so look, pretty illustrations. Um, and there's kind of a uh, second message in here. But again, I was attracted to this book by the cover and by the illustrations to begin with. But it has a nice message to it, too. Now, a picture book. This picture book, I learned something new. This is called I Am a Gluten-Sniffing Service Dog. I had no idea that there were gluten-sniffing service dogs. So, Chewy, the blue dog... Chewie is training to be Alice's service dog. Alice has celiac disease, which means she gets sick, sick from substances called gluten. All right, so this is about training Chewie to be ready to become a service dog. So um, you can get, keep, teach your kids about um, service dogs and about celiac disease. <clears throat> Love the collectors. By Alice Vegan. Um, I remember as a kid, I must have collected a million things, rocks and leaves and, and you know, marbles and all kinds of things, just like these kids here do. And so they're getting ready to go out and find something extraordinary. But some things are too big and some things are too high. But what happens when you find a great big cave? Do you think they'll find something extraordinary in here? They do. So check out the collectors. It's a good one. Um, Mouse House by Michael Hall. Uh, he's one of my uh, favorite picture book artists, or uh, authors and artists. He did uh, The Orange Aardvark and My Heart is Like a Zoo and Frankencran. So if you haven't checked out Michael Hall, I highly recommend you check out his books. This one is called Mouse, or House Mouse, and it's on the edge of a wild asparagus patch. A mouse finds a welcoming place and goes about building a house. The mouse is brave and adventurous. She's resourceful and creative and kind, and her house while she built it using only the best materials. Warmth, safety, shelter, sustenance, and love. So you'll be able to check out the house. I think this is a fun book. There's a lot of fun shapes. I think that he does a lot of cool shapes when he does illustrations. All right, so this is a gr another fun book, House Mouse. You can talk about rhyming words. What a movie that I really enjoy was Finding Dory. And if you remember in Finding Dory, if you got to watch that, um, there was an octopus in there um, and he didn't want to escape. But this is called The Octopus Escapes by Maylee Melloy. This is a fun book about a poor alligator who has his own home and he loves where he lives. But one day he finds trash in the ocean and he gets scooped up and he ends up in an aquarium. And he doesn't want to be in an aquarium. He wants to be in his favorite place in the ocean. Um, so, and he wants to eat his favorite foods and everything. So, eventually, he escapes. But he does it in a really funny way. And um, it involves a camera. 
Uh, so I highly recommend you check out the Octopus Escapes. Hudson and Tallulah Take Sides. It's a funny book. And it's about a cat and a dog. Hudson and Tallulah may be neighbors, but the fence between their yards isn't the only thing that divides them. They can't see eye to eye on anything. Do you guys know any kids that are like that? One day, they venture out, and after a nonstop of disagreement, they realize something surprising. They don't always have to agree to be on each other's sides. So they get into quite a bit of mischief. Um, chase sticks, dig in the trash, chase butterflies, bark at a bunch of dogs, you know, that kind of thing. So this is Hudson and Tallulah. This one is kind of fun. This is called The Lost Package. A lot can happen between the post office and the destination. So we find a little girl and she is wrapping a package up with care. She's writing the name on it. She's put the tape on it and the address. She drops it off at the post office. It's in the back of a truck. But oh no, that truck hits up a pothole. And... Out it flew. So that poor box that's waiting to be delivered to a special someone sits on the side of the road and it gets wet and has oil on it. And then one day a little boy finds him and helps the pack package get to where it's going. So this is the lost package. Cute little story. All right, we've got two crowded by Lena Podesta. So we've got a goldfish here. And he has a plant. And he has some other things that I'm gonna let you see in his house, but his house is too crowded. So then he gets his suitcase and his shoes and he decides to go find a new home. Silly fish that he is. And um, he tries out some new places and they're not really working out for him. They're too loud, too quiet, too big, too small. And then Turtle says, fish can't breathe in air, silly. You need water to survive. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Will he survive? Will he get a new home? Read Too Crowded to find out. All right, this is my last book. This is called Imagine a Wolf. Look at those green eyes. What do you see? And this is by um, Lucky Plant. All right. What do you see when you imagine a wolf? Sharp, pointy teeth, big, hungry eyes, a soft sweater, and a friendly smile. Wait a minute. The wolf in this story would rather nip than huff and puff or blow anyone's house down, but that doesn't stop the townsfolk from crying a wolf anyway. What's a kind-hearted wolf to do when everyone keeps running and screaming at, Hello! It's time to show the world that this wolf is the furthest thing from big and bad. Just really pretty illustrations. Um, kind of funny. It's kind of like a fractured story tale. So, of course, you think when you think of the wolf and his big sharp teeth, you think of Little Riding Hood, Red Riding Hood, or you might think of the Three Little Pigs, but this is not the wolf from those stories. So I highly recommend you check out Imagine a Wolf and see what kind of wolf he is. All right? All right, that's the books I have today. There's lots of good picks for the month of June. I could have gone on and on and on, but it's summertime and we're all very busy. So I picked my 10 favorite for this month. And next month for July, I will pick 10 more of my favorites. All right, now I want you to, if you liked any of these books and you want them, you can give us a call and reserve them or see if we have them at any of our locations or come in and ask us about them. And I'd love to hear what some of your favorite picture books are too. All right, have a great rest of the month of June and I will catch you in July. Take care.